Hi everyone. Today's topic is arithmetic operators in Java. Before starts today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our last video. What is operator? What is operand? Expression and types of expressions. What are unary, binary, and ternary operators? Different types of the operators. We covered all these points in detail in the last video. If you haven't watched that, please watch that for the better understanding of this video. After watching this video, you will get the knowledge about our arithmetic operators, binary operators. We will discuss about integer arithmetic, real arithmetic. And mixed mode arithmetic operations. How modulus operator of Java is different from modulus operator of C and C++ languages? Can we use modulus operator with float values in Java? How is the sign of the result decided when working with the modulus operator? We will cover each and every point in detail with help of the example in this video. In the last video, we started the concept of operators and we have seen what is unary operator, binary operator and different types of the operators available in Java. So coming to the categories of the operators, the first category is arithmetic operators. So now we are going to discuss about arithmetic operators here. The arithmetic operators are used to perform arithmetic operations. As the name suggests, these operators are used to perform the arithmetic operations. The arithmetic operations are like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modulus division. We can perform these arithmetic operations on numerical data. Since these operators act on two operands at a time, these are called binary operators. So if you want to implement any of this operation, addition operation, subtraction, multiplication, division or modulus division, at least we need to maintain two operands. That's why all the arithmetic operators are called binary operators. Now these are the arithmetic operators available in Java. First one is plus. The meaning of the plus symbol or plus operator in Java is addition. So in this example, a plus b results 32, where a and b values are 22 and 10 respectively. Minus that is used for the subtraction. So a minus b means 12 here. Third one is division operator. To implement the division operation, in Java we use forward slash operator. So 22 division 10. The result is 2. Fourth one is multiplication operator. For the multiplication operations, we use star operator. So A star B results 220. And modulus operator, this is used to get the reminder. In our example, A modulus B result is 2. Again, in the arithmetic operations, we have three types. First one is integer arithmetic operations, real arithmetic operations and mixed mode arithmetic operations. Let us see what is integer arithmetic. When both operands in arithmetic operation are integers, that type of the expression is called integer expression and that operation is called integer arithmetic operation. See the example. Suppose we have two variables, again I am taking same variables, A assignment 22, B assignment 10. In this example, these two values are integer. If you write any arithmetic operation here, if you write any arithmetic expression where these two operands are integer, this type of the operation is called integer arithmetic operation or simply integer arithmetic. Integer arithmetic always produce an integer value as a result. 
next important point is for modulus division the sign of the result is always the sign of the numerator i will show you one example to understand this point see this in this example we are using two variables with the same values what we discussed just now and we are implementing all arithmetic operators addition subtraction multiplication division and modulus division just execute it so this is the output of this program a plus b 32 a minus b value is 12 and so on as we discussed this is integer arithmetic operations because two operands are integer values see one more example this is also integer arithmetic but the point is when we are implementing modulus operator the sign of the result is the sign of the numerator always see in this sixth statement the numerator sign is minus so when we execute this we will get the result with minus sign and see the seventh statement the numerator sign is positive even though we have the negative sign for the denominator we will get positive result coming to the ninth statement the numerator has the sign minus so the result sign is also minus and coming to the eighth statement two are positive so the result also in the form of the positive number let us execute this see the output minus 22 modulus division 10 in this case the result is minus 2 because numerator sign is minus in this case even though denominator is a negative number the result is positive value if any arithmetic operation contains only real operands that operation is called real arithmetic operation or simply real arithmetic the real operands may be in the form of decimal or exponential we covered this point in the last video this is very important point again in c and c++ languages modulus operator cannot be applied on the real values but we can use this in java see this example this is the code in the c language if you don't know the c language don't bother about it just my intention is to show what is the difference of modulus operator in c and java so here we are implementing modulus operator with floating values two float values or two real values we are getting an error so here we are getting the error in the error we can observe that modulus operator have double and double type so here we are implementing modulus operator with double type or real type so it is not valid but if you write the same logic in java we will get the output without any error see this example here we are implementing float arithmetic operation we are using two variables of float type so we are implementing all the arithmetic operations with float values now see this 10th statement we are implementing modulus operator with float values right execute it see the output we are not facing any error even though we are working with the floating values with modulus operator third category is mixed mode arithmetic it is very simple to understand in the integer arithmetic the operands are integer only in the real arithmetic the operands are real type in mixed mode we have both types of the operands see now if in an expression one operand is integer type and another operand is float type then this type of the expression is called mixed mode arithmetic expression this type of the operation is called mixed mode arithmetic operation or simply mixed mode arithmetic if one operand is real type and another operand or another operands in the same expression are other than the real type in such cases the other operands are also converted into real type and the real arithmetic operation will be performed we will get the real value as a result see this example one variable is integer type another variable is real type or float type so we are implementing all arithmetic operations these operations are mixed mode arithmetic type so when we are implementing this type of the operations as we discussed just now other data type values are also 
converted into real type then we will get the same output as the previous code see now this output same as the real arithmetic operations check your knowledge what you learned from this video are arithmetic operators binary operators we discussed about integer real and mixed mode arithmetic operations how modules operator of java is different from modulus operator of c and c++ can we use modulus operator with float values in java how is the sign of the result decided when working with the modulus operator if this video is useful to you please subscribe the channel like and share the videos thank you